topic is about the combinations of cells in parallel. So when do we say cells are connected in parallel? So looking at this figure, right, this is the arrangement of how cells are connected in parallel. The positive terminal of each cells are connected to a single point A and the negative terminal of each cells are connected to another single point B such that the potential difference across you know in this case the potential difference across the first cell and the second cell is the same so this type of combinations of cell is known as polar combination okay okay so here let us consider that the current which is produced by the first cell it is I1 and the current from E2 let's say it is I2 now these two current right they meet at this junction to A and they flow out of A right and the current which is flowing out of A let's say it is I so clearly I can see here that this I is equals to the sum of I1 and I2 so this is, is my first equation okay now let us look at the potential difference across each across each cell. What is the potential difference across the first cell? So when I see the potential difference of the first cell means it is the potential difference between the point A and point B. Because this plate is connected here and this plate is connected to B. So the potential difference of the first cell means the potential difference between A and B. Similarly, the potential difference of the second cell, it means the potential difference of between the point A and B. So therefore, the potential difference of cell number 1 and cell number 2 is same. So therefore, I will write the potential difference across the first cell E1 is V. Let me denote by V. Okay. So this V, it is VA minus VB, which means the difference of potential between point A and point B. Again, from you know the relations between E and V, it is seen that V can be as E minus I R. But in this case, because we are considering for the first cell, so the EMF is E1, the current is I1, and the internal resistance is R1. Similarly, the potential difference across the cell E2 is again V but this V it is the difference of potential between point A and point B so we write VA minus VB again this can be as E2 minus I2 R2 okay all right now <clears throat> let me find out I from this equation let's say this is equation 2 this is equation 3 so let me find out I I1 and I2 from equation 2 and equation 3. So from equation number 2, right, if you find out I, I1, okay, so I1 here it is equals to V, actually it is E1 minus V upon R1. I hope this is clear. Similarly, from equation 3, your I2 will be E2 minus V by R2. So these are the equations of current. Okay. But we know from equation 1 that this current I is equals to I1 plus I2. Which means I here is equals to now substituting the values of I1 and I2 you will get E1 minus V by R1 plus E2 minus V upon R2. Okay. Or, I can see that this I here is equals to, okay, I will arrange the term in this way, that is E1 upon R1 plus E2 upon R2, keeping them inside bracket, and then minus Okay, with this V outside, I'll take, I'll get 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. Okay, I hope this is fine. 
Next, I will find out the LCM here. The LCM is the product of R1 and R2. Cross multiply, you'll get E1 R2 plus E2 R1 minus again LCM is R1 R2. Cross multiply, you'll get like this. Okay. Okay. Now, from here, I will find out or I will transfer this term V together with this R1 R2 to the left, it becomes positive. And right hand side now will become E1 R2 plus E2 R1 upon R1 R2 and then minus I. Okay, I hope this is also fine. Next, I will keep only V on the left hand side, so which means this R1, R2, R1 plus R2, right, they will cross multiply and they will multiply to each term of the right hand side. You will get E2, E1, R2 plus E2, R1 upon R1, R2. This take here, you will get R1, R2 upon R1 plus R2. And similarly for the next term when you multiply, you will get I, R1, R2 upon R1 plus R2. Now this R1, R2 from the numerator and denominator, they will be cancelled. So you will have next. I'm so sorry, I have to rub because my boat is very small. I cannot write all here. Right, I have to rub it. <coughs> so next, this V, okay, is equals to E1 R2 plus E2 R1 upon R1 plus R2, okay, and minus I R1 R2 upon R1 plus R2. So, okay. Let me name this as equation. Okay, I forgot about what is the last equation. Okay, I think it is equation. This will be equation number four. Okay. So if I wish to replace, you know, the combinations of these two cells by a single cells having equivalent EMF, E equivalent, then I will write V is equals to E equivalent minus I and then R equivalent, where E equivalent here, it is equals to this much, E1 R2 plus E2 R1 upon R1 plus R2, and this I, sorry, R equivalent, and R equivalent here is equals to R1 R2 by R1 plus R2. Okay, so these are the equivalent EMF and the equivalent internal resistance when the cells are connected in parallel. All right, so when you look at these equations, you know, it's difficult for you to, you know, to remember about this equation because they look so complicated. So in order to make you easier how to remember this equation, I will do it like this. I will divide this E equivalent by R equivalent. That means E1 R2 plus E2 R1 upon R1 plus R2 divided by this what R equivalent mean R1 R2 upon R1 plus R2. So if you change this division into multiply, then this number get reversed. So I will change it to multiply. So here you'll have R1 plus R2 up. And this is R1, R2. So now this R1 plus R2 can be cancelled. So I will write E equivalent upon R equivalent is equals to E1, R2 upon R1, R2 plus second term is E2, R1 upon R1, R2. So this R1 with R1 cancel, R2 with R2 cancel. So my relation here is E equivalent upon R equivalent is equals to E1 upon R1 plus E2 upon R2. 
Alright, I think this is easy for you to remember. Look. If the cells are connected in parallel, so this is the relation where E equivalent upon R equivalent is equals to E1 upon R1 plus E2 upon R2. And if you have n number of cells, then you can extend this formula to n number of cells. So similarly, for the equivalent resistance R equivalent, right, we have this much. So now I will divide, sorry, I will find out 1 upon R equivalent. So when you take the reciprocal, this R1 R plus R2 will goes up and this R1 R2 will come down. Or 1 upon R equivalent is equals to, now splitting the denominator, you will get R1 upon R1 R2 plus R2 upon R1 R2. Now this R1 with R1 cancel goes 1, R2 with R2 cancel goes 1. So 1 upon R equivalent is equals to 1 upon I will write first this 1 upon R1 and then plus 1 upon R2. So this is the equation for the total internal resistance of a cell when connected in parallel. So this equation 5 and equation 6, right? <clears throat> now they look easy for you to remember the formula when cells are connected in parallel.